History is selective. What history books tell us about the past is not everything that happened, but what historians have selected. They cannot put in everything. Choices have to be made. Choices must similarly be made about which aspects of the past should be formally taught to the next generation in the shape of school history lessons. Injury or disease that afflicts a relatively small number of brain cells causes a chain reaction that stops activity across a vast network of neural circuits, according to new research. The study may help to explain why people can suffer from temporary but severe loss of cognitive function in cases of traumatic brain injury or disease.
Neural networks are some of the most important tools in AI. So far, they run on traditional processors in the form of adaptive software, but experts are working on an alternative concept, the neuromorphic computer. In this case, neurons are not simulated by software but reconstructed in hardware components. A team of researchers has now demonstrated a new approach to such hardware. Targeted magnetic waves that are generated and divided in micrometer-sized wafers. It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that chasing the flame makes its greatest mark. With piercing insight and relentless logic, it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world.
A thesis is a claim that you can argue for or against. It should be something that you can present, persuasively and clearly in the scope of your paper, so keep in mind the page count. If possible, your thesis should be somewhat original. This course provides an introduction to the history and development of the British legal system. Its aim is to describe the evolution of the common law of England, the legal system of England and to introduce you to the study of constitutions as law and to the legal aspects of constitutional systems of government. But on May 3rd, a couple of weeks later, Lincoln issued an executive order calling for 43,000 three-year volunteers for the Army, and also increasing the size of the regular Army and Navy by 40,000 men. Both of these actions were in apparent violation of the Constitution.
If countries can specialize in certain goods they can benefit from economies of scale and lower average cost. This is especially true in the industry with high fixed costs or that require a high level of investment. The benefits of the economy of scale will ultimately lead to lower prices for consumers and greater efficiency for exporting firms. For the discovery of Australia, people in the old world were convinced that all swans were white, an unassailable belief as it seemed completely confirmed by empirical evidence. The sighting of the first black swan might have been an interesting surprise for a few scientists, but that is not where the significance of the story lies. Australians speak English of course. But for many tourists and even some locals, Australian English has only tenuous links with mother tongue. Our speech is prepared with words and phrases whose arcane meanings are understood only by the initiate. It is these colourful colloquialisms that Australian slang set to truly explain.
Certainly one of the important values of literature is that it nourishes our emotional lives. An effective literary work may seem to speak directly to us especially if we are ripe for it. The inner life that good writers reveal in their characters often gives us glimpses of some portion of ourselves. We can be moved to laugh, cry, tremble, dream, ponder, shriek, or rage with a character by simply turning the page instead of turning our lives upside down. internal combustion engine enables the driver to decide which source of power is appropriate for the travel requirements of a given journey. Major U.S. auto manufacturers are now developing feasible hybrid electric vehicles, and some are exploring fuel cell technology for their electric cars. beauty contests, whether it's Miss Universe or Miss Teen International, are demeaning to women and out of sync with the times. Opponents say that they are nothing more than symbols of decline. Since Australians Jennifer Hawkins and Lauren Eagle were crowned Miss Universe and Miss Teen International, respectively, there has been a dramatic increase in interest in beauty pageants in this country.
The Japanese tea ceremony is a ritual tour influenced by Buddhism in which green tea is prepared and served to a small group of guests in a peaceful setting. The ceremony can take as long as four hours, and there are many traditional gestures that both the server and the guest must perform. When we recycle, used materials are converted into new products, reducing the need to consume natural resources. If used materials are not recycled, new products are made by extracting fresh, raw material from the earth, through mining and forestry. Recycling helps conserve important raw materials and protects natural habitats for the future. Companies will want to be known not just for the financial results they generate, but equally for the imprint they leave on society as a whole. First, ensuring that their products contribute positively. Second, operating in a way that approaches a net neutral impact to the natural environment. And third, cherishing their people.
the elephant is the largest living land mammal. During evolution, its skeleton has greatly altered from the usual mammal, designed for two main reasons. One is to cope with the great weight of huge grinding, cheek teeth and elongated tusk, making the skull particularly massive. The other is to support the enormous bulk of such a huge body. Shrimp farmers used to hold animals in nursery ponds for 30 to 60 days, now they try to move them into grow out ponds in less than 30 days. This reduces stress on the animals and dramatically increases survivals in the grow out ponds. Many farms that abandoned nursery ponds have gone back to them, and the results have been surprisingly positive. They're using the old, uncovered, earthen, nursery ponds. Australians do speak English. However, for some tourists and travelers, it can be difficult to understand the slang. Also, the links between Australian and American English were seen to be very tenuous. At least, some colloquialisms in Australian English do not exist in other types of English. Yeah.